What is up everybody, it's Josh and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to a new journey. Tonight we'll be headed out to Palmetto, Florida to experience once again Circatalia Presents Paranormal Cirque. I'm super excited. I love paranormal stuff. I love circuses. And if you guys don't know, about a year ago I did Paranormal Cirque, I guess is now considered Paranormal Cirque 1. Tonight we are experiencing Paranormal Cirque 3, so I'm super excited to see the new show because it's definitely going to be different from what I hear. Um, this one is more of a dance, burlesque, acrobat, comedy type show, as where the other one was a little more uh, pushed towards around like magicians, acrobats, and comedy. So no uh, magic in this one, from what I know. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Circatalia and Paranormal Cirque for inviting me out once again. They've become like family to me, so <laughs> it's really cool to see that they're back in Florida. We have about an hour drive, so I think it's going to be time to head out that way. Um, I do want to put a viewer discretion out there. This is a rated R adult only circus. So if you're a kid trying to watch this, probably shouldn't. Um, parents, if you have little kids around, probably shouldn't. I'm going to warn you, there's a lot of explicit language, a lot of uh, burlesque sexy type outfits in this video, and a few dildos. Yes, I said that right, dildos. Um, but... With that being said, once again, thank you to Paranormal Cirque and Cirque Italian for inviting me out. If you guys are ready to go on this fun-filled, spooky-filled craziness of a journey, let's go. Viewer discretion is advised. like it's time to walk in. so empty that it's scary okay my point like it's so empty that it's scary okay now there's just thing right here okay cool gotcha. Woo. I don't know how I feel about that Everywhere, everywhere. 
also right out back from the actual tent itself, they have these trailer bathrooms which have air conditioning, stuff like that. They do have one portalette, it's a handicap portalette because I don't think you're able to get up in a wheelchair into the trailer because there's stairs. But other than that, they have pretty clean restrooms. I mean, air conditioning, restrooms, no portalettes, good option.
So it is intermission time. I'm having fun. It's really hot in here. I don't think that having all the fire and flames and everything going it really helps with the mix of the you know Florida humidity. But I'm having so much fun. The only thing that is kind of like upsetting to me is I'm a little confused because I think there's literally an order from Paranormal Circ 1, Paranormal Circ 2, and Paranormal Circ 3. I've only seen Paranormal 1 and now I'm seeing 3. So I don't know if there's like an actual storyline that I have to follow and maybe that's why I'm confused or, or maybe I'm just so confused because there's so much going on at once that I really don't know what to pay attention to. But like I said, I'm having so much fun. Like, I love these little pop-up circuses and now that they're made for adults, it's even more fun because I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid at all. A lot of us aren't kids anymore, but we still want to be able to go to the circus. And let me tell you, so far, out of all of the adult rated R circuses I have been to for Circitalia, this is probably the most rated R, I kind of want to say rated X, circus that I've been to for them. I mean, they had a suitcase with dildos in it. Like, it was funny. He just, like, stuck it in his forehead. I didn't capture it on camera because it just happened so quick. But, yeah, this is definitely, like, rated R. 1,000%. Like, over-the-top rated R. I don't see any kids here, so that's good. That means people did listen in a sorts of where to bring your kids and where to not. Um, but yeah, this is just my little intermission talk. Not too much to say. When we get back home after the show, we'll completely talk about the whole thing. But I'm having a blast, and I can't wait to hopefully come back to another show, because they will be closer to home in about a month. So you can get your picture taken with Annabelle, one of the performers, and this weird-looking Krampus mutated alien-looking thing. That's so creepy.
jump roping within a jump rope. guys well the show is over we do have a lot to talk about but I want to take this nice little hour and a half drive home back to the studio so we can actually talk full-on about this show I did have a lot of fun but let's head back home alrighty so we have made it back home from a very fun filled and long night at Paranormal Cirque Man, what the hell did I watch? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and that's not, like, in a bad way. That's, like, I genuinely had such a good time uh, between the comedy, the acrobats, and just the storyline overall. I enjoyed it all. It was amazing. Now, please, please, please understand that this is a rated R circus. So it's meant for a adult like audience so 18 plus do not be, be bringing your 12 year old kids to the circus thinking they're going to see a normal circus clown because they're not they're going to get woken up by adult toys um, being pushed onto someone's head or being uh, chased after by said adult toy um, but just this I mean the whole storyline overall isn't meant for children at all whatsoever. I mean, just don't bring your kids. Like, I still get comments in my video from a year ago saying, how is this kid appropriate? And it's not. It never was stated that it was kids appropriate. They have two or three different rated R shows that are meant for adults. And then they do have kids shows that come around as well. Um, but anyways... I just needed to say that. Let's jump into it, though. The comedy. On point. The storyline. I enjoyed the storyline. I was afraid that because I only saw Paranormal Cirque 1 and then 3 and didn't see that Paranormal Cirque 2 in the middle, that I wasn't going to under understand the storyline. But I kind of still saw the gist of things because the storyline kind of brought me back to Paranormal 1 where you pull up to this mansion and you see this devilish icon figure whatever you want to call him and he kind of just controls the whole show this one however you do see that character more often either walking out and speaking and, and giving you know his uh, say on things 
or he's represented in the act some way. In the first one, you only saw him at the beginning and at the end, from what I remember, or maybe in the center. But I just feel like he was more um, used in this one, which I loved. Now, a lot of people are going to say in the comments, because again, I'll go back to when I did this a year ago. People are commenting on my video. Wow, this is disturbing. Wow, this isn't, you know, cool. This is demonic. This is this. This is that. And to be honest with you guys, if you clicked on my channel and you would see all the rest of the videos I do, I'm a paranormal investigator. So I do stuff out of the ordinary. I do stuff that's not necessarily believed in that way. I deal with demonic type stuff. So I loved it. If you didn't love it, then I'm sorry, but you clicked on a video that gave you multiple warnings about certain things and you clicked on a video that said paranormal um if if you didn't want to see that stuff you probably shouldn't have clicked on it um but the whole aspect of the show between like i said the comedy the actual storyline the acrobats the burlesque dancers everything was just perfect you guys did it once again i enjoyed the show 1000% and like I went in with an open mind because I really wasn't sure I was like how can you make another show based around like the paranormal horror twist thing um but you did it you did it very well um man yeah I mean it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like I'm excited at all or know what to say but I'm exhausted so I'm trying to be as like woo as I can um I do want to touch on some key points real quick. Um, this is once again. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on this again. This is a rated R adult only show. This content that is in this show is meant for an adult audience, 18 plus, 21 plus, whatever you think the age you need to be to go is. But don't bring a child to this show. Don't. Or two, this event is a cash-only event, so make sure you bring all the cash you can. Parking will cost you between 5 and $10, depending on the location of the circus. Um, food and beverages are going to cost you cash, merchandise, everything is literally cash-only. If you do happen to forget to bring cash like I did, or you just don't want to carry a lot of cash and you only want to get what you know you're going to use they do offer a cash back booth inside the tent right as you walk in they do charge like a two to five dollar fee depending on how much cash you grab out but it was so useful because i literally only grabbed like ten dollars and i used it um how i needed to um the photo with the characters is also cash only so literally everything is cash only uh, number three, buy your tickets online, please. They do have a ticket booth at the show, on location, on site, but you're going to be waiting forever to get your tickets. I've seen those lines get to about 30 minutes long, so while everybody's inside enjoying the pre-show or getting their drinks or merchandise or doing whatever, you're standing outside trying to buy a ticket because you didn't buy it online. I'm going to leave the links down in the description below to buy your tickets check out all the information that's needed before you go to this show but please just check out all the information um, I hope you guys found this video entertaining yet informational I try to get better about these videos I do so many different types of videos that I kind of get lost in how to do certain things but I hope this helped you out I want to thank Circatalia and Paranormal Cirque for once again inviting me out. They're such an awesome group of people. They've literally like put me into their family at this point. It's great. I loved it. Um, I can't wait to see this show again. I hope to see it at least one more time because I didn't even get to bring Riley with me. And I wish she would have seen it. Like, it's such an awesome show. I love it. I love it. Uh, but with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, I'll see you on the next journey. Peace.